Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I'm Richard Ash. I have two. Uh, I have two jobs here. I'm the. I'm a research scientist, and I'm also the laboratory manager for the plasma mass spectrometry lab. Um, so Bill kind of alluded to this a little bit. I've worked with probably two thirds of the faculty in the department, lots of the graduate students, lots of undergraduate students, because it's such an awesome lab that we have. So. Bill showed a picture just like this of a, of a plasma. What's so great about the plasma? Plasmas are, but typically they're kind of gases that have been ionized. Half the half of the uh, half of the elements in half of the gas has been ionized to positive ions and uh, negative ions, and it's at about 9,000 Kelvin. And you put any sample into there, and it's instantly evaporated and ionized. And once you've got something ionized, you can do all kinds of fun things with it sort those ions according to their mass to charge ratio. So we can use this to look at trace elements and we can use it to look at isotope ratios. So we have two mass spectrometers, one up here which is the element two is used for measuring element, element uh, abundances and a Neptune plus which is used for measuring uh, isotope ratios. Now as I said I've worked with lots of people in the department. Um, my own research is really cosmic chemistry uh, I'm interested in how we go from dust and gas of the earliest part of the solar, solar nebula to planetary systems. So, first five million years of, of the uh, of the um, of the solar system. After that, it gets a bit dull. But, uh, <laughs> um, so we start off with chondritic meteorites like this, which are the very first sediments that come straight out of the nebula and collect into uh, parent bodies, and nothing's happened to them before. 4.5, 6, 7 billion years. Now we get them, we dissolve them, you know, it kind of seems, seems a little spiteful, but we dissolve them, we fire lasers at them. Um, in natural, oh dear, in natural systems, we go to, we go sort of primitive uh, igneous rocks and as rich as the only two to iron meter or something. But I get to do lots and lots of other things as well. These are some of the other projects I've been involved with, with people in the department, but uh, people in other departments within the university. Other universities, both in the US and, and abroad, they all come to our lab because it's such an excellent lab. I get to work on things, you know, this is just a list. It's not a complete list, it's not a complete list. Everything from rat brains to pipe bombs to sewage, mostly cleaned up sewage, <laughs> uh, nuclear forensics. And in each of these cases, we're using the power of the, uh, of the um, the ionization power of the plasma to be able to look at tiny, tiny quantities of material. We're looking at parts per quadrillion level uh, concentrations, and we're looking at very, very small amounts of material for isotope ratios. And I think I'll stop there. If anybody wants to talk about any of these things, uh, just come by the, the plasma lab, and I'm always happy to talk.